Pachyrhinosaurus is one of my most anticipated additions to Avrima. Unfortunately, it's chucked into the roster bloke discussion, I believe in fairly, especially when you consider we have Avaceratops, Protoceratops, and Styracosaurus, which could all easily be axed from the roster, and no one would have any issue with it. But then, I do like the idea of Ava being AI though, but I think that is the nostalgia speaking. Actually, me and my friends, we were debating whether if I could beat an Ava Ceratops in a fight. I'm taking an Ava, easily. Since Kissin has said that she has nothing to share on our boy, Paki Rhino, it seems like we're in this one on our own. So let's get into it. Coming in at 4.2 tons, I just can't see the comparisons people draw with Trike. When Trike is over double Pachyrhinosaurus's weight, coming in at a whopping 9.1 tons. And for us, that's only a good thing, because it gives us way more maneuverability when addressing our boy, Pachyrhino. And in fact, you could actually argue Pachyrhino is the most unique Ceratopsian, so I think we can put that debate to rest comfortably. Pachyrhinosaurus should be the ultimate wrecking ball dinosaur. In other terms, I want it to be able to throw its weight around at the detriment of the fools, the poor souls who dare to mess with it. Obviously I'm hyping it up, but you get what I mean. I remember someone saying a while ago that every dinosaur should be able to give fractures, but only certain animals can specialise in it. Now, the first part I don't agree with, but the second part? It may seem evident, but regardless, Paki Rhino needs to be a fracture specialist. The first thing I'd give it is a base head swing that can knock animals down to the ground. This is hopefully a given. If it's not, then that's very questionable. Couple this with a charge similar to Paki's, where it just charges straight into you. That'd be insane. That gives heavy fracture, obviously. And an alt head swing, where it swivels on its hind legs to turn quickly to launch attackers away. Obviously, if they're under a certain size. But seeing as Trike, the 9 ton behemoth had a stomp in legacy, then I can't see how it'd be a problem. With the large predators it has to deal with, I think this moveset would be perfect. And we can assume that it will be faster than Acro, who I should have said last video that Acro should have light fracture resistance because of how how fat it is, man. Look at it. It's, it's, it's kind of beautiful, isn't it? It's kind of beautiful. We also know it's going to be faster than Rex, Giga, Spino, Suko, marginally. That's up for debate though. So the apexes shouldn't be a problem for Paki Rhino, as long as you are aware of your surroundings. But the predators it can't outrun, they should make educated guesses on whether to test the resolve of a Paki Rhinosaurus. With the devs saying that they want to enhance rivalries between species, Albertosaurus would be the perfect opponent for Paki Rhino. But unfortunately today, we aren't here to talk about Alberta. But that is just food for thought though, so you can have a think about that. The second thing I'd like to give Paki Rhino is reduced head damage, just like Paki, Cephalosaurus. 40 to 50%, probably even more, of its head is made up of bone and frill, externally at least. And like my Kentro video, I don't think you should take much damage, if any damage at all, if something bites your spikes, nose piece, or frill. But to damage it, like most Ceratopsians, it will have to be you have to get around its defense. But with how turning works in Avrima, that could be a difficult task. To balance this out, the older you are on the path to adult, the stronger your head damage resistance should be. I'm not sure how Packies works, but I assume it works the same. So if it does, it's an easy translation. If it doesn't, stick it on both of them, why not? To parallel is fracture counterpart. For balance, I think it'd be more appropriate if it was more vulnerable to bleed than other forms of assault. I'm not sure how I feel if Paki Rhino was also vulnerable to its own specialisation, since it is quite a compact animal. Some people may even ask the question of, wouldn't Paki Rhino just be a better Pachycephalo? I don't think so. We'll break it down quickly though. Paki is smaller, quicker, more agile, takes way less time to grow, can jump, may potentially fill different biomes and niches within the environment, and it will have a different playstyle. To you, realising these differences, do you think they are too comparable? The main similarity of the two is that they're both fracture specialists and they're both herbivores. In this game at least, Paki's now an omnivore apparently, which I think is cool. The differences I've listed don't make either redundant. And if you want a fast gameplay style, and you were given 
the quadrupedal ceratopsian or the bipedal pachycephalosaur? What you, which one are you choosing? And vice versa, if you want a slower gameplay loop, but you just want to smash things biome-wise, I think they should reside in forested areas, potentially even deep forested areas, spreading out into more open, low shrubland areas when their dietary needs require it to. If you wanted to, you could play around with the idea of them being a semi-swamp dweller, but what do you guys think? If we can joust with Paki Rhino like we can with Paki Cephalo, then that'd be incredible. And this could be one of the most beautiful dinosaurs in the game. So I hope the devs do it justice. I really do. If you've watched this far, I'm going to show you something interesting. Surely this would only increase the demand for elephant ivory. Because we have way less mammoth specimens than we do elephants. And yes, elephant populations are declining. But the mammoth, the mammoth specimens we have are way more finite than the animal that's living today. I also heard somewhere, it's probably not true, that they want to bring mammoths and elasmotherium, i.e. the woolly rhino, back to help combat climate change. I don't know if that's, either, I don't know if that's dumb or genius. But regardless, if you've watched this far, thank you so much. I love you guys. I'm almost at 600 subscribers. I have tears coming out my eyes as we speak. I love all of you guys. I love the interaction. I love it when you guys message me, comment, like have conversations about this stuff. I love it. Uh, I will be doing more content votes. So I'll put a poll up, like a poll, whatever. You guys can vote on what video you want to see. And I, I found it interesting. Everyone said on my last vote, everyone said a Ceratopsian. It's interesting. It's interesting. Anyway, yeah, I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.